is brought into the crime lab, it's taken into um, CERF, the Central Evidence Reception Facility, where the evidence is submitted. Um, it's then routed to the Firearm and Toolmark Unit. Depending on what the request is, um, it may be routed to an examiner. Here I'd be working on the firearm to determine its operability. I'm going to function test it. Um, I'm going to make sure all the safeties work properly, um, do the trigger pull on the firearm, which basically measures um, how many pounds of pressure it's, um, is necessary to discharge the firearm. When I'm going to test fire a weapon into the shoot tank, I'm going to load no more than two rounds into my magazine. Um, it's for safety reasons. If a firearm unexpectedly goes full auto on me, um, for safety, I don't want to have more than two rounds in it. I'm going to lower the shoot tank top. This is a steel tank full of water. The water slows down the projectile so it remains in good condition. In addition to our shoot tank, we also have an indoor shooting range. This is where we come to shoot a shotgun or to shoot at various distances for distance determination. This is NIBIN, the National Integrated Ballistic Information Network. It's the computer database that lets us, lets us search fired casings um, to see if they uh, are linked to any other cases throughout the state of Florida. Well, right now we're in the uh, firearms reference collection at the Miami-Dade Crime Labs Firearm and Toolmark Unit, and we have about 3,000 weapons in our collection. When the department gets custody of a firearm, um, depending on what it's for, eventually the firearm may or may not uh, be destroyed. So before uh, the property and evidence section is going to do that, the crime lab can decide if they want any firearms for our collection. Um, when that's the case, it could be because the firearm is very rare and we want it for our collection for either training purposes or reference purposes. Um, but also we want common firearms um, that we're more likely to see in casework. This is a Colt rifle, it's an AR-15 type. Um, so we often see that this is referred to as an assault rifle. In reality, uh, we rarely come across uh, full auto firearms. Being full auto uh, is what would actually make it an assault rifle or select fire, meaning you can have the option to choose uh, full auto or semi-automatic. Um, so few of the firearms we come across are actually full auto. However, they are still often referred to as assault rifles because of the look that they have. Um, and because this is a pretty recognizable AR-15 type. Thanks for joining us here at the Firearm and Toolmark Unit of the Crime Lab. Um, I hope this gives you all a better understanding of how firearms evidence is processed and analyzed here at the Crime Lab.